And welcome back to Dawn. We're now going to be cooking up some vegetarian dishes with my next guest, chefs Rich and Kate Landau from Veg Restaurant in Philadelphia. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks for having us. You. Absolutely. So what are we cooking up today? We're going to do a recipe right from our new cookbook, Veg, the cookbook. <laughs> um, and this is a mushroom chopino. Now, I don't know if you know chopino. It's this San Francisco concoction of these homesick Italians that came here, you know, um, <laughs> off the boat, and they're like, oh my God, we miss home. So they thought of this great way to use the indigenous ingredients of the West Coast with all the traditional ingredients they had back in Italy. Nice. So you have this great tomato-based stew with all these incredible, like, um, you know, we have garlic, we have chili flake, we have a little thyme, but the reason I love this right now, this time of year, is because it features some spring vegetables. I'm ready for spring. Are you uh, ready for we spring? We are ready for spring. Um, I am so over this <laughs> no winter. No more snow. Oh my God, it snowed yesterday. Uh, I'm Patrick just done with over. this. Let's do it. <laughs> we are ready. So, and then I, so leeks and fennel are two of my favorite spring vegetables. I mean, leeks are just about the best member of the onion family you can possibly ask to cook with. Fennel, it's sweet, it's licorice-y. Uh, it's subtle, you know, even people who don't love licorice move love there. fennel. Yeah, let's give them a look at that there. So, why don't we uh, start this off. Um, Kate, okay. I'm going to give you, these are our mushrooms we're working with today. Um, now, in the cookbook, we tell you to use royal trumpet mushrooms. Now, those, you know, but the overall message in the cookbook is use whatever's available and whatever's fresh. And this is a royal trumpet well, no, mushroom? This, this is actually a Neverdini. It's very, it's closely related to the royal trumpet. Isn't that cool? but it looks like the, a uh, lily. It's, not, it's beautiful. beautiful. It's, exactly it's got a beautiful blue. soft flesh. And these are my Takis. But the point is, is that the royal trumpets we saw this morning at the market kind of looked like this. Okay. So when that happens, move on. Go I'll never understand. People will not buy old steak or fish, but they will buy old vegetables. Don't buy old vegetables. Don't buy them. The Neverdinis are great too, because you can just see how clean they are. I mean, yeah. there's no work you have to do. You buy them, they're pristine, and you just a they're little beautiful. trim off the bottom, oh, exactly. right? Oh, exactly. Yeah. I go. mean, so the point is, you know, the cookbook <clears> says <throat> royal trumpet mushrooms. Buy the best mushrooms you can. You know, it, it will work with anything. So I'm gonna give Kate these here. my takis here Got to start it. playing right. with, also known as hen of the woods, probably my mm. favorite mushroom. And we can start cooking here. There's so so we'll many start. mushrooms out there. It's just well, amazing. And is there one time I I made a dish with shiitake mushrooms mm -hmm. for my husband, and I guess I didn't fully cook them. <laughs> oh yeah. And he got really sick. Oh no, <laughs> that's not good. They're supposed to be good for you. <laughs> well, I, but I guess some mushrooms. We looked it up. You have to uh, really make sure you cook them properly and yeah. fully. You do. You don't want to eat a. You know, if they're raw, they can have some dirt in them. I'm a big fan of brushing mushrooms clean. You know, when you okay. wash them, they, they get soggy and spongy. Okay. Uh, but you do have to be careful. Um, anyway, so I'm going to cut these into uh, some strips here. And at Veg, you know, we, we kind of are taking back, you know, um, classic cuisine. Everyone thinks vegan cuisine is this weird new age alternative diet. It's basically the food you've always loved. Yeah. We just happen to use vegetables instead of meat. Things, things like charcuterie aren't about meat, they're about seasoning and smoking and spicing and curing. So we're kind of taking back all these time honored methods and instead of using meat, we're using vegetables. So we're gonna get some of these uh, neverdinis in there, and those my takis can go right into. Yeah, great. And can you smell that already? Yeah, Isn't it looks nice? wonderful, and it smells wonderful. Okay, so let's do a uh, little pepper. You know, I love this. My son Michael is was like born a vegetarian. I heard, yeah. So yes, yes. So for me, you know, I love restaurants like yours because half the time I'm going saying. You know, can he? Can you make it vegetarian? Yeah. But how did you come up with the idea for veg? Well, we're both we're both it's gorgeous vegetarians. We're yeah, we're both vegetarians, leaning vegan. We're about ninety nine percent vegan, ninety nine point nine percent <laughs> vegan. More more it's like very that. hard when you go out sometimes. We know a lot of the chefs in the cities yeah. and they bombard us with this food, but <laughs> no, we're, we lead a vegan lifestyle. We're vegan at home. We're vegan in the restaurant, and um, you know, uh, it's mostly for ethical reasons. You know, we love food, um, but we don't want to eat animals. So we developed this way of cooking that basically gives you all the great flavors of you know traditional meat-based cuisine, but using only vegetables. So no animals are harmed <laughs> in the making. Of it. It's good for you. It's good for the environment. It's good for the animals. So it's a win-win situation. Well, we'll and also we we know with all the food allergies. So if you're eating all these vegetables, you don't have to worry about celiac. You don't have to worry about meat meat point. allergies or the different allergies yeah, associated dairy, eggs, with right. dairy. Yeah, That's absolutely, right. Absolutely sure. It's a very healthy way of eating, and you know. Uh, it's it's become the new exclusive club too. Yeah. Like Bill Clinton is uh, vegan now. Steve Wynn, the, the Vegas bigwig. Uh, oh really? Yeah. Oh, we're waiting for that. <laughs> the whole ticket. 
All right, so let's uh, let's keep rocking on this here. We're gonna do a little seafood seasoning. This is like a, an old bay type seasoning here, okay. um, which has so many great flavors in it. And I down. think we're ready to deglaze here. So we're gonna take a little bit of white wine. That's great. Isn't that awesome? Okay. And then let's let that reduce a little bit. We just cook the alcohol out. Okay. A little early. Okay. I mean, you guys are making a cocktail later. <laughs> it's a little early. And a little bit of veg stock here, okay? Now, okay. I tell people at home, you know, we make our own veg stock at the restaurant. There's a lot of detail in the cookbook about how to go about it. If you really want to start from scratch, Rich makes amazing soups and amazing stocks. Nice. But he's not afraid to tell people it's okay to cut corners, right? Yeah. I buy it. You, you, you can buy it and buy it's the organic. Cube. Yeah. I, not in the cube. It's like Whole Foods sells oh, yeah, it. In the, yeah, in, in the, the cartons, yeah. So oh, I admit yeah. I don't make my yeah, own. Yeah, make your life easy at home. And that's the whole point of the cookbook. I, I don't like these show-off cookbooks. It, you know, if you want to show off what you do, you go to the restaurant. Yeah, right. You know, and, like, I'm and better the, than you. I did all exactly, this. Exactly. These chefs make these cookbooks, and you get them <laughs> home, you're like, I, I can't do this. This is impossible. <laughs> but our, our cookbook is very home kitchen friendly. We want people to be happy, you know? Yeah, and, and when we want to show off, we can do that for you at the restaurant. Absolutely. So, can, we, um, can we plate it up? Is it ready absolutely, to? Almost. Let's get a little. Okay. Uh, this is San Marzano tomato. I'll be ready in about 30 seconds here. So this time of year, you know, there's no fresh tomatoes around. We're very seasonal, you know, with well, our cooking. I'm going to get bread if it's okay. Oh, yeah, okay. grab some bread over there. Sure. So uh, we're very that. seasonal with our cooking, one, so we um, use the San Marzano tomatoes this time of year, which are these canned beautiful tomatoes. And we're going to bring that up to a boil. We're going to add a little fresh thyme here. And this bread is a nice thick bread. Yes, we make this in-house at the restaurant. It's a sourdough style, so it's perfect for the chopino, which of course comes from San Francisco, which is known for their sourdough. So Absolutely. We, we grilled it up after we bake it. Um, you can slice it down, and then we just brush it with a little bit of olive oil and put it on a char grill. But you could toast it. It's no big deal. Now, nice. Dawn, do you like spicy? Are you a spice fan? Yeah, I love little, it. Okay, let's do a little bit of chili flake in here then. A little bit. Because this just really brings it all together. This smells amazing. And what yeah. we'll do, I'll tell you what, let's, let's go crazy here. Let's, <laughs> okay. Okay. let's go right. crazy. Yeah. Let's do let's it Let's do it. What okay. were you saying Turn about gluten before? And all right. That's a nice little bed for it. This is Makes great because you can have it as a light stew, or if you wanted to like really you know, make a whole entree meal out of it, you can do that. You could put it over rice. It would be delicious. Or let's do pasta. I mean, it could, you know. It could even be a fun appetizer that you split up among yeah, oh, you know, absolutely. Absolutely. everybody. Yeah, it could be if you don't go so brothy, you could just put it on oh, little toast points and have it as like an appetizer. Okay, done. should I try a little bit? Absolutely. Can I try Give just a, a little bit? Give it a shot. I think you'll need a spoon mm. too, right? <laughs> wow. Isn't that nice? That is awesome. Good. More with the Excellent. Landau's from Veg when we come right back. <laughs> mm.